Welcome back, all you movie lovers and film buffs. It's time for another Breadsticks Take. And today, we've got a good one for you. we got an Idris Elba special, Beast. It's starring Idris Elba and another guy named Shartlow Copley, if I'm saying his name right. Shartlow? Shart? It sounds like when you have an accident in, in your pants. Uh, yes. Shartlow Copley, I think is his name. You'll recognize him as Murdoch from the A-Team, okay? He plays Martin Battles, right? So, what's the movie about? Okay, Idris Elba plays a doctor, right? He split from his wife. She passes. We won't go into all that backstory. It kind of plays a role in some of the emotional ties with his daughter. But he travels to South Africa to visit his friend Martin Battles and give his daughters like a safari experience, right? They're going to check out the lions and tigers and bears. Oh, my. So they're out there and they're doing their thing in the safari, right? And they come across a rogue lion. They're stranded out there in the middle of nowhere and they're being hunted by a rogue lion. So Martin Battles is hurt, right? Shartlow Copley's character, he's hurt, he can't help. He's kind of the game warden. And Idris Elba has to figure out how to save his friend and rescue his daughters from this from the situation, being hunted by a lion, and get him back to civilization. That's, that's pretty much it. I mean, it sounds like a pretty straightforward plot, and it is a straightforward plot. So let's get into what I liked about the movie and what I didn't like about the movie. First thing I didn't like about the movie, it was kind of a shallow plot. I, that was There wasn't much character development. That was kind of it, right? You jump in, you kind of get a little bit of backstory on his wife and a little bit of backstory on that relationship between uh, him and his daughters. Uh, but but that's it. That's, that's what the first few minutes is about. You know, it's the kind of developing that plot line. It felt kind of weak and forced. But what I liked about the movie was the fact that they went right into the the action. Now, he's battling a rogue lion. So there's not really, I mean, that's what you get, right? You get Idris Elba. You get a rogue lion that looks really good, by the way. And he's trying to fight this lion. That's it. That's what the movie's about. The simplicity, I think, was kind of the what I didn't like about it, but also what I liked about it. Because you went into the movie expecting a fight between Idris Elba and a lion, and that's exactly what you got. So, yeah, there's some poachers thrown into the mix, and, you know, his friend is injured. There's a little bit of backstory and drama with, you know, his, his wife that had passed away and how that's affecting his daughters and all that. So, that's in there, too. But, long story short, it, it was a shallow, shallow development, but the name of the movie says it all, Beast. You get exactly what you think you're going to get. So, if you're down to watch an action movie with Idris Elba where he fights a lion... That's exactly what you're going to get in this movie. Exactly what the title tells you. So you know what it's about. You know what I liked about it. You know what I didn't like about it. Kind of the same thing. Let's talk about a rating. What am I going to give it? I'm going to give it a solid three. Okay? A solid three. It's worth a watch. If you miss it, you're not missing You're not missing some sort of epic movie. It's just a solid, entertaining flick about a guy defending his daughters against a rogue lion. Go into it with the mindset of watching an action movie watching some cool effects the lion looks awesome and if you're an a-team fan like i am it's fun to see charlotte copley's character in there as as martin battles that was kind of a a fun touch kind of a fun spin it's not a role you expect him in but he did a great job solid three breadsticks check it out you won't be disappointed if you're expecting a lion fight and that has been breadsticks take on beast